the big the biggest beasts of the herd they they're all the same size okay <laughs> bossing skilling guides <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? It is Scuzzy. Welcome to another Monday's episode. Um, today we have some a pretty cool update here. Uh, it's called Gemstone Dragons. This is an update that I guess I, I'm guess I've been out of the loop. I mean, I had no idea that these were like I, I kind of had an idea that maybe they would come out someday, but I didn't know if it was like in the works or anything like that. But we have Gemstone Dragons. And then uh, documentary airs 9th of April. Jagex is doing a documentary of the life of Jagex and RuneScape. Um, it's going to include a lot of different people along the way in their, their journey. So get ready for that on the 9th of April. That's going to be really cool. Uh, but for now, we're just, you know, we got the gemstone dragons. So we're going to look uh, at some of the requirements and stuff. I'm going to read through this. So, gemstone dragons are ready and ripe for the slaying in RuneScape today. Face off against three varieties of these fearsome beasts and pick up re uh, resplendent. What? <sighs> I've never seen that word in my life. And pick up resplendent new gemstone armor. Okay. Resplendent means attractive and impressive through being richly colorful or sumptuous. Sumptuous is also another big word. Um, so basically, it's just colorful and you're going to want it, <laughs> which makes sense. We'll also be airing the RuneScape documentary at the weekend. See the live streaming section for full details. So you can start by entering the gemstone cavern beneath Shiloh Village. You're going to need 95 Slayer at least, and then you need to complete the quest Shiloh Village. You have to have completed the hard Karamja tasks. And then um, also, if you're not on a Slayer assignment, you're going to have to uh, hand in the guy Dragonstones, Onyxes, or Hydrixes, Hy Hydraces, Onyxes, I don't know, um, as payment. And what I suggest is, I guess the cheapest way would be dragonstones, and you have to use uncut ones. It doesn't say that here, but I think you have to use uncuts, unless they changed it, which may be a possibility. Anyways, head down beneath Shiloh Village to find uh, the new gemstone cavern. Its entrance manned by, oh, that's the guy's name, Kelhar. If you have a gemstone dragon, whoa, if you have a gemstone dragon slayer assignment from Curdo or Morvran, he'll let you right through. Otherwise, you'll need to pay a fee in uncut, yeah, uncut dragonstone, two kills per gem. Onyx, I assume uncut onyx will give you 400 kills, or a hydrix, which will give you 4,000 kills uh, to enter and slay the dragons therein. Now, let's see. Hydrix actually, actually might be the cheapest, but then Hydrix's will go up. Uh, Slayer levels required are 95 for the Dragonstone Dragons, 98 for the Onyx Dragons, and then no less than 101 for the Hydrix Dragons. To reach this lofty level before Menaphos, you'll need a boost. A great option is the new Wilder Pie, which requires 90 cooking to make. They're going for expensive in the GE, but they're definitely going to plummet when Menaphos comes out. And requires an uncooked Wild Pie with... A ground dragonstone. It boosts range by five and slayer by six, uh, and the slayer boost will not deplete with uh, for six minutes after the pie is eaten, meaning more time to grapple with the biggest beasts of the herd. The big, the biggest beasts of the herd. They they're all the same size. Okay, because I've I've killed a bunch already. So the rewards. Um, as well as valuable gem drops, the dragons can drop pieces of the new tier 80 hybrid gemstone armor. These three dragon types drop specific pieces of the armor. So the dragon stone drop the boots and gloves, the onyx drops the legs and the headpiece, and the hydrix is the only one that drops the body, and that's the only thing that drops is the body uh, regarding the gemstone armor. So if you want a full set, uh, let's say you're an Iron Man, you're going to have to do each of the dragons the gemstone armor can be attuned to one of the effects of the enchanted bolts either dragonstone onyx or hydrix by changing 
by charging the armor with uncut gems. Each gem gives a certain amount of charges. So a Dragonstone gives you 10 charges, Onyx gives you 100, and a Hydrix gives you 1,000. So it would be cheaper to just do... Well, let's see. A Dragonstone is 10k, approximately, or 12k, approximately, and that gives you 10 charges. So it's 1.2k per charge. Onyxes are 2.5 mil, and they only give you 100 charges. So that's 25k per charge. Why would you ever use Onyx or Hydrix? I think it, they're trying to make it so you would never use either one of those, but to make it like uh, Machan used the word complete, they added those in. But you probably want to just use Dragonstones. These allow you to benefit from the special effects of the bolts, of those bolts, whatever your gear and fighting style. What? These allow you to benefit from the special effects of those bolts, whatever your gear and fighting style. Oh, so you can get the effects. Okay, I, I just mis misread that. That was kind of weird. But you can get uh, the effects of the Ascendry Bolts E if you're meleeing with this hybrid armor. So that's pretty cool. Um, so in other news, there's the patch notes. There's literally nothing in the patch notes. I looked at it. But um, let's see. What is this? Menaphos Library Competition. You're writing in-game. In the golden city of Menaphos lies a huge library filled with books. Amid those ancient tomes uh, could be one written by you. So uh, if you want to read that, you can. I'm not going to read it, though. And then we got the live streams again this week uh, down there. So I'm going to look at the patch notes real quick. So we are at the patch notes now. Um, if we scroll down, we can see that some of the quests are here. Skill in D&Ds and stuff. Um, players can no longer disassemble dyed weapons in combat. I honestly don't know why the hell that wasn't taken care of with all the other stuff. But, you know, it is what it is. And then, literally, this is the end. It cuts off here. So, I, I mean... Like, there's really nothing here interesting. But if you want to look over the patch notes, then you can. Um... So I'm going to go into game real quick just to uh, show you a little bit about the dragons. So I've done maybe about 200 kills by now. And um, so this, I don't know, you may be able to use melee over here, but um, for, you know, for the, all intents and purposes, uh, I'm just going to be doing range and I'm going to bring out a loop video either later today or tomorrow not sure um, which one I'm gonna do but there's a guy here Kelhar and you can pay him gems um, he will only accept uncuts and uh, like I said earlier and then if you check kills I have 862 so I guess I killed 148 of them but if you climb down the hole the first ones that will come up are the Dragonstone Dragons and I believe, yep, yeah, they have 40,000 health. You can use this uh, shortcut crevice to get to the Hydrix Dragons. But um, the first time I went in here, I actually ran through. So these are, you know, nobody's here. Literally, th nobody cares about these. And these are the Onyx Dragons. Also, nobody cares about these guys. Although they should, uh, because you can get the helm and the legs from these. And then from the... Dragon dragons, dra dragon stone dragons. Uh, you can get the boots and the gloves. And wow, there's actually nobody here. There were a bunch of people here. Maybe they gave up. But good spot that I like to do the mat is in the middle here, or not in, the, not that's not in the middle, dude. What are you talking about? You're too tired. Um, in the corner here, the southeast corner. Um, you can kill these two spawns. Without any of these friggin' Hydrix rocks in the way. Now, earlier when I started, I was killing these two here. But these rocks get in the way, like, so much. Like, if you stand over here, try to do, like, you know, abilities and crap, you, your character is going to run around it, and it just messes up with rotations and stuff. Um, I hope I'm not complaining too much about that. But anyway, so I'm going to kill one. No, I'm not going to kill one. But these are... <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not going to kill one. I'll kill them in the loot video. 
but the inventory that I have is a pretty decent setup for around 30 minutes and uh, you should bring high level alchemy because it drops rune limbs like crazy and you should have some alk runes. So th actually this is a good place for iron men because the alkabols seem like they're pretty decent. Uh, I don't know what the drop rate is for any of the pieces, but uh, hopefully I can get one within like 500 kills. So, anyways, I think that's going to do it. You do need to boost to 101 Slayer just to kill these. Even if you have 120, uh, you'll get a message saying you can't kill it. You need to have higher Slayer level to wound this monster and then it'll hit you. Um, but basically, this is its special attack. It throws two things here and... It does uh, like a friggin' thingy, thingamabobber. But what it does is it drains your adrenaline. No matter how much adrenaline you have, it'll drain it down to zero. And then each attack you have next will only give you 5% adrenaline um, instead of the normal 8%, I think, or something like that. Or it'll give you like 4%. It'll give you like half adrenaline, it seemed like. So basically, you just got to make sure that you dodge those things. And one of the ways that I found was decent at dodging, I'm not sure if it's 100% working, like it works 100%, but if you stand melee distance from them, I, it, se it seems like they don't actually do that thing, but it can't hurt this thing. So, um, And I don't really feel like eating a, a wilder pie. I'm going to edit this video and then um, take a break, eat something, and then uh, work on some more loot. Of, actually, I might do 25 minutes. But anyways, that's going to end this video. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I will see you either tomorrow or later today for another video. Peace. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you have a great day. Follow me on social media and subscribe for more. Peace. Lions roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day People feel